Okay, so this is where we're at right now. I'd like to introduce you all to my basement. Definitely a little soggy. Needs some work. Does have a few things going for it. Um, electrical's good. Um, walls are solid. Have a new furnace. Pretty new hot water heater. And got this new uh, Bream wardrobe for a long term storage of clothes. That's very efficient. I've got my old bed set up in the corner here. We have our own heating zone with our own radiator. I like to call these old metal ones the grade school radiators because it's what I had back in grade school. A uh, bunch of uh, air conditioners. But uh, they're going to be going out of here. Um, now we see we have a bunch of old boxes, some storage boxes from Ikea, some other interesting stuff. Uh, ooh, guitar. Well, here, here's the long and the short of it. Uh, this basement is going to have to become my new office um, for video game creation sometime in the next summer. As you can see, I've done a lot of work here. I've whitewashed a lot of the walls, sealed up some holes in the back, ran some wires in the ceiling for some better lighting. Um, but there's still a long ways to go. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, this is the water softener. It takes all the, the lime and calcium deposits out of the drinking water. Uh, salt powered. Um, very good. Um, definitely recommend those. Works great for us. Um, problems is moisture. And you see this, this slab down here has been compromised by these uh, superficial 2x4 walls. The actual house is being held up by um, these iron, I believe, pillars, which are quite nice, um, but uh, yeah, these uh, this wall over here, I'm going to keep that for some privacy. Um, but you'll see that in order to to make these um, little walls here. Um, the previous owner had drilled bolts through the floor and that turned out to be a bit of a problem because water comes up through the floor and also comes up through this one spot here uh, there's some kind of crack going on here uh, maybe be with this pipe up here maybe so anyway, we got water coming in here. Um, there is one little crack like there. Um, water spills out of that whenever it rains. Um, besides that, the walls are secure. It's just that water seeks up through these holes in the floor. And that's where most of the moisture comes from. Uh, you can see there's a French drain along the edge of the basement that goes down to here and there's another hole in the other corner behind that bar there and I have a pretty heavy duty sump pump it does the job so basically the story is I'm going to take this garage space which was kind of a, a man cave so you got my retro games there and a bunch of fun stuff uh, yeah, this, uh, this garage is going to be declared persona non grata, and, um, we're just going to close it off. This, uh, second doorway here that's open, just covered by a curtain here, a shower curtain, uh, this is going to be walled off. This, uh, old-timey door here, the, uh, old-timey, uh, mason doorknob, keep this shut. And then the rest of the basement is going to be 
dried, dehumidified, and turn into a real livable office where computers can operate well and make indie games. Um, there's also one itsy bitsy little problem with the windows. The windows are basically falling apart. You can see I've done what I can here to insulate here. I covered it with this two millimeter plastic. I put an extra plane of plexiglass here, just kind of glue that on with some uh, silicone with a caulk gun. Um, as you can see, the entire frame has basically um, pretty much fallen apart. See the bottom here, you can't even close because this bottom piece of wood is completely rotted away. Uh, yeah, so this is where the the antenna comes in, the digital antenna. So for all the good that does us, we get like two channels. Um, but yeah, this whole thing, um, both windows are going to be torn out and going to be redone. Going to have new windows there, nice double pane, uh, modern windows, insulated. And the rest of everything else here is going to be painted up, sealed. All the cracks are going to be sealed. And the biggest project of all is resealing the entire basement floor. This uh, little rectangle out here that's separate because that's where the oil tank used to be back when we had an oil furnace. But luckily we upgraded just in time for the coldest winter in New Jersey history. I really dodged a bullet on that one. So yeah, so... This is actually kind of interesting. This is actually was behind the panel here. This is actually a flip up uh, table. Also built by the last. So you see it's kind of supported there. It flips up between these two studs and that pipe screws under here into this flange. And then that's like a collapsible mini table, you know, for when you're doing maintenance on your boiler. So that, that was actually kind of clever, but for the sake of space, uh, that flip-up table is going, this wall is going, uh, the bottoms of this wall is going to be uh, tore up, and the holes in the floor are going to be sealed up. And as hopefully, after we've done all of this, this is going to be a dry place where I can set up computers and use them to make games. Uh, yeah, I see there's some plumbing in the back. That's where the uh, bathrooms were. That's where the um, washing machine used to be. So, yeah. Uh, also, we're going to be replacing some lights. See, I got a, a newer... Well, you probably can't see it. But I got a newer light over there. I'm going to be replacing these little um, basementy strings lights with real recessed lighting. I got these, uh, got this over here. These are metal casings. We're going to put some uh, super long lasting soft white LED lights in there. Should last for 10 20 years and uh, actually make this basement pretty bright. Um, besides that, that's pretty much it. See, on top of the salt bank is another uh, light. It's going to replace that light. That one is very rusted, pretty much falling apart at this point. So, doing that, I'm going to put some more of these um, flanges and uh, boards in the ceiling. Make the uh, ceiling all sealed up. Ceiling has already been insulated, so that's good for me and the house. So, yeah, that's the general plan. Um, the space is going to be uh, treated, sealed, um, demoistured, and turned into an office for super, super game creation. Now, how the actual office is going to come together, well, we'll see about that.